I'm the producer and I'm also the founder of Kolumpo City Opera. When I first started the East Sing and Travel People, it was kind of on my own. Then I felt that, well, it's not easy, I huh? uh, probably need some help. So that's why I asked uh, Sun Yun to join me and then uh, when we started KLCO, it was both of us uh, who are the directors and founders of the company. I'm the executive producer of Kuala Lumpur City Opera. Uh, and Kuala Lumpur City Opera, we first started off as the Eat, Sing and Travel People. So it was established in uh, 2012. And subsequently, uh, we have incorporated Kuala Lumpur City Opera uh, in the year of 2015. We wanted to do something different which is unlike any other productions who have been like, just doing musical. So we decided, you know, why don't we just do opera because the music is so beautiful, the drama, the tragic, everything is inside there. If you look into the composition of opera, right, it actually has a very good structure of music, the uh, storyline, the dramatization, then the, uh, the learning and the education, the messages inside an opera. And it's not very different from musical theatre. For me, to be able to interpret or bring to life this opera and uh, putting together not only the music, you know, where the orchestra, you have the orchestra and the musician, you have the conductor, but the singers, you know, uh, singing different roles and then uh, putting it on stage with the sets and uh, settings and then uh, making it magical with the lights and everything else. So for me, uh, creating things like that really uh, gives me motivation. Is, is unique, is different. Um, I've sung this role many, many times. Uh, this is the fourth time I'm singing this opera and this role, um, although with different companies and with different cast members throughout the years. So um, every time I revisit it, it's always fresh, it's always uh, interesting, you learn new things. has its own challenges so even though you've sung the role many many times you know um, there, there, there's always something new to discover um, whether in terms of music characterization or uh, it deepens your appreciation for the work mm -hmm. uh, no. you look at him you look at you okay and then you <laughs> uh, no. and you can search like, why I need to talk to you okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. 
chorus is different, it's a different part. And we need a conductor and of course that's the first thing. Everybody should be together. It's different from section to section, from singer to singer, from part to part. Some they like it slower, some they like it faster. Sometimes I play around with the tempos, with the uh, accelerandos, with the getting faster, getting slower and all of that. We have so many of our talented singers uh, who actually study vocal but unfortunately when they return back to Malaysia they don't have the chance to appear in a leading role in an opera. So Kuala Lumpur City Opera is the greatest platform for a Malaysian local talent to have a lead role. I think when you're in the performing arts generally, you always be part of a close-knit community simply because <laughs> there are not many of us around. Um, but I think it's always a good thing. I think it's something that should be encouraged. I think that's what makes the performing arts industry special, very, very unique. Um, yes, there are not many of us around, um, but it makes us even stronger by working together.
everyone. I think it, it's not it doesn't it's not restricted or limited to performers. Um, I think everyone should be one passionate about the work you do, because when you're passionate about the work you do, then practice or um, rehearsals don't seem tedious. It's not a chore. It's not something you like. Oh my God, I have to go for rehearsals today. Uh, you know. Then rehearsals give you a reason. Rehearsals and practice. Your individual practice should be reason to keep improving. There should be a fire that keeps you going forward, that keeps you striving to want to be better, to keep improving, and to always discover new ways to grow. seconds, few minutes that it goes on, but uh, inspiring your audience to learn more about your craft, that is a reward that lasts a lifetime. <laughs>